Welcome to a lesson on the stability and classification of isolated critical points for an autonomous nonlinear system of differential equations. Once we have an isolated critical point, the system is almost linear at that critical point, and we computed the associated linearized system, we can classify what happens to these solutions. We more or less use the classification for linear two-variable systems from section 3.5 with one minor caveat. Let us list the behaviors depending on the eigenvalues of the Jacobian matrix at the critical point in table 8.1. This table is very similar to table 3.1 from chapter 3, with the exception of missing center points. We will discuss center points later as they are more complicated. Actually, before we take a look at table 8.1, let's do a quick review from chapter 3. On the left, we have an example of a source vector field with eigenvectors and solutions. If we focus on the origin, notice how for a source vector field, the vectors are pointing out from the origin. On the right, we have an example of a sink vector field, again with eigenvectors and solutions. Starting at the origin, notice how, in this case, the vectors are pointing in toward the origin. Below, we have an example of a saddle vector field, again with eigenvectors and solutions. If we focus on the origin, notice some of the vectors are pointing toward the origin, some away, and some actually parallel to the origin. And for two more examples, on the left we have an example of a spiral source vector field. Starting at the origin, notice how the vectors spiral out from the origin. And on the right we have an example of a spiral sink vector field. Notice how the vector field spirals in toward the origin. So going back to table 8.1, we'll now discuss the behavior of an almost linear system near an isolated critical point. We base the behavior and stability on the types of eigenvalues of the Jacobian matrix at the isolated critical point. So if the eigenvalues are real and both positive, the behavior is a source or unstable node, and the stability is unstable. We'll talk more about the stability in just a moment. If the eigenvalues are real and both negative, the behavior is a sink or stable node, and the stability is asymptotically stable. If the eigenvalues are real and opposite signs, the behavior is a saddle, and the stability is unstable. If the eigenvalues are complex with a positive real part, then the behavior is a spiral source and the stability is unstable. If the eigenvalues are complex with a negative real part, the behavior is a spiral sink and the stability is asymptotically stable. In the third column, we mark the points as asymptotically stable or unstable. Formally, a stable critical point x sub zero comma y sub zero is one where given any small distance epsilon two the critical point x sub zero comma y sub zero, and any initial condition within perhaps a smaller radius around x sub zero comma y sub zero, the trajectory of the system never goes further away from the critical point x sub zero comma y sub zero than epsilon. An unstable critical point is one that is not stable. Informally, a point is stable if we start close to a critical point and follow a trajectory, we either go towards or at least not away from the critical point. A stable critical point x sub zero comma y sub zero is called asymptotically stable if given any initial condition sufficiently close to x sub zero comma y sub zero and any solution x of t comma y of t satisfying that condition, then the limit as t approaches infinity of x of t comma y of t equals the critical point x sub zero comma y sub zero. That is, the critical point is asymptotically stable if any trajectory for a sufficiently close initial condition goes toward the critical point x sub zero comma y sub zero. Let's look at an example. Consider the system x prime equals negative y minus x squared and y prime equals negative x plus y squared. On the right we have the graph of the face portrait or phase diagram. Let us find the critical points. These are the points where negative y minus x squared equals zero and negative x plus y squared equals zero. If we solve the first equation for y, we have y equals negative x squared. If we square both sides, we have y squared equals x to the fourth. And now we can substitute x to the fourth for y squared into the second equation to get the equation negative x plus x to the fourth equals zero. If we multiply both sides by negative one and then factor out x, we have x times the quantity one minus x cubed equals zero. Since we are looking for only real solutions, we get either x equals zero or x equals one now we go back and solve for y. We know y equals negative x squared, and therefore we get the critical points zero comma zero and one comma negative one, 
which are plotted in black on the right. Analyzing the face portrait, we can see the critical points are isolated. For the given system, the Jacobian matrix is the two by two matrix with entries negative two x, negative one, negative one, two y. At the point zero comma zero, we get the Jacobian matrix with entries zero, negative one, negative one, zero. And so the two eigenvalues are one and negative one. I've shown that work in blue above. Recall to find the eigenvalues. We solve either of the equations shown below. I use a determinant of the difference of a and lambda i equals zero. And again, that work is here in blue. Since the Jacobian matrix at zero comma zero is invertible, we know the system is almost linear at zero comma zero. And from here, because the eigenvalues are real and of opposite sign, referring back to our table, we get a saddle point, which is an unstable equilibrium point. And now we consider the second critical point of one comma negative one, which results in the Jacobian matrix with entries negative two, one, one, negative two. And if we compute the eigenvalues, we get lambda equals negative one and negative three. Once again, the Jacobian matrix is invertible, so the system is almost linear at the critical point one comma negative one. Because the eigenvalues are real and both negative, the critical point is a sink and therefore an asymptotically stable equilibrium point. That is, if we start with any point x sub i comma y sub i close to one comma negative one as an initial condition and plot a trajectory, it approaches the critical point one comma negative one. In other words, the limit as t approaches infinity of x of t comma y of t equals the critical point one comma negative one. As we can see from the diagram and some of the trajectories, this behavior is true even for some initial points quite far away from the critical point one comma negative one, but it is definitely not true for all initial points. So if we analyze the phase portrait or phase diagram on the right, if we first focus on the critical point zero comma zero, notice some of the vectors are pointing in toward zero comma zero and some are pointing out away from zero comma zero, which verifies we have a saddle point and if we focus on the critical point one comma negative one, notice all the vectors are pointing toward the point one comma negative one, which does verify we have a sink. I hope you found this helpful.